Hi, <laughs> I'm Joan Justice. I'm in Palm Island. Um, this, um, this was a project of ours to help save this little lake. This is a little lake. I live on the big lake. Uh, we were losing our shoreline really bad. Uh, when the rains came, you could see the, the lands wash away and the waving action would erode the, the, the shoreline and we were losing it and the pond was getting shallower. So uh, we, uh, we decided to try to uh, save the shoreline by putting two rows of rock at the control level and uh, then planting plants. Um, and uh, so far we have just about all of the houses uh, done except two. Um, the homeowners are paying for it and it usually costs them like $250 just for their frontage. Um, because we're doing it ourselves, it's, it's a lot cheaper that way. And the landscapers put it down. The county doesn't allow rickrack uh, but they said that we could use the, the two rows of rock and we're calling it a border. So then we're planting plants uh, below the, that and uh, it's a definite line where the landscapers will stop and not keep cutting the plants down and the erosion will stop because the rocks are holding back the erosion. And it's, so far it's working out well. Most of these plants I've started from seed so it hasn't been expensive for us to do the plantings. The reason why I'm doing this is because it saves a lot of money. <laughs> um, we can start these plants from seeds and, and grow them within well, four to six months and have a bunch of uh, really nice plants that we can give to the neighbors who want to plant them because I can gather the seeds, I can open them, I can start them. Okay. These are the seeds that I collect. After the flowers are done, they'll, they'll collect a seed like this. They'll dry out, and you open up the pod, and inside the pod you can see all of the seeds. I drop all the seeds in there, and if you're not ready to plant these right away, you can put them in the refrigerator and they'll stay a long time until you're ready to plant them or to nick them. They won't open until you nick them and put them in hot water. You take the seed and you just nick it showing white. And sometimes you nick your finger. All you have to do is takes the time. I just I just well, open the shell a little bit, open up the black part uh -huh. because it's hard. Otherwise it would take a couple three or four weeks out in the sun to disintegrate this. As you can see there's a little white opening. Now you put that in the dish until you have a, the dish full of these or how many you want to start. Then I take the seeds and I put them in a, a plastic bag and I run hot water and put hot water in there. And then I, t I seal them up like I did these and lay them out on the patio in the sun. And in a couple days they'll open. These are about four days old. These are a little over a week old, and you can see the roots are already coming out of the holes, out of the little holes that we made. Then after um, they're already started like that, then I take the, the, the containers of dirt and I just poke a little hole in there, and then I drop the seeds in there. Now these plants here are, um, they're about, uh, let's see, they're maybe two months old. And they'll be growing little risens or little tubulars. And after they're grown, I'll show you later on outside the plants, the, um, they're ready to plant. You could either separate them or plant them whole into, into your, your pond or your wetlands, wherever you want to put them, the lake. The, there were no plants here six months ago, and I planted one of those pots in the center. And this is how it's grown in about six months. And you can see that they're, they're spreading out and going towards the water. Well, um, there's duck potatoes. There's little clutches of duck potatoes. And then uh, the water cannas, the yellow water cannas. Um, they're in groupings. And then uh, the irises, the water irises, those are purple. And uh, I did put some bog lilies in here. Um, it's hard to get the seeds from the bog lilies to start those. 
Uh, but uh, as I collect them and start them, we put them over here. But we're, we're putting everything that blooms, things that bloom. The, the board was all for this in the beginning, but some of the homeowners uh, objected to it. And, uh, but as, as we've been working on it, they've all come around and they see how, the purpose behind it and how nice it's looking. So they're getting in on it too. And uh, we've had uh, quite a few donations for some of the property, some of the common property, but most of the homeowners have uh, taken it upon themselves to put the money in and buy the rocks.